Hi, it's Diane again at Capadia Designs and today I'm going to show you how to weld inside a frame. This is something I get a lot of questions about and um, it's really exciting actually because when we first um, got Design Studio it was not possible to weld inside one of the pre-made frames and it's uh, an improvement that was made uh, when the software was updated. I like the storybook cartridge because it has lots and lots of pretty frames. So we're going to choose a frame from from storybook. I think we'll choose this one here. Um, I made it five inches big just to make sure it's a nice size for you to look at. So let's say um, Mother's Day is coming up. So let's choose a fancy letter M. And we won't want that to be as big as five inches. So we'll go down a bit here. I'm using my... Uh, slider bar to adjust the size. So here's the M and we want to make sure that weld is checked on both our M and the frame. I'm going to take the M and just bring it over using the handles and settle it into the frame. If you want to get rid of the handles while you're working with something just hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and you can see I don't have the handles in the way anymore. Um, I'm just going to give it a little bit. I'm using that arrow right there to kind of center it. I think I need a tiny bit over that way. Tiny bit down. Okay. So now I'm going to go to my preview page and see how that looks. And there you have it. A nice M inside of a frame. So, seems easy as pie, but there is a little trick. Um, when you're just putting one item inside a frame, that's really all there is to it. No problems. But if you wanted to add a word or several characters inside the frame, let me show you how to do that. I'm going to go to the regular um, storybook font. Uh, no shift, no... there we go. And make sure your cursor is off to the... at least to the center so you have room for all three letters. One thing people say they don't like about Storybook is that it's all uppercase, but I'll show you a little trick. You can put your first letter in at two inches, and then let's go down here to one and a half and add the O and the M. So while it's not exactly a uh, lowercase, it gives the feel of a lowercase letter. I used my kerning, as I showed you in other lessons, and uh, we're checking weld. I'm going to go up to a bigger size. Fit so I can just check out how that is going to look. Um, I want to move my M over a little bit, or excuse me, my O away from my M a little bit, and I'm going to use this M a bit too, just making sure that it's still touching. Okay, I can look on my preview page to just check and see how that uh, mom welded. That looks just fine to me. So let's go back to our working page. I'll bring it back to fit view, and we're going to take mom and bring her into the frame. Uh, hold the alt key down again so I can just see where I'm going with these handles. Uh, I think it's a little too tall so I'm just one nice thing when you do it all in one box I can just shrink the whole word down that way. Uh, once again I'm just making sure that fits nicely in there and then I want to make it fit the whole frame so I'm going to stretch it apart. I stretch it to the right um, holding my alt key down and I can see that it'll fit there. So that looks pretty, but watch what happens when we preview it. Not at all what you were expecting, is it? So let me show you how to fix that. The trouble is the computer reads the order in which the items were added and you always need to work from the inside out. So the quick and easy way to fix this, fix this problem is to select your frame, copy it, then delete it, and then paste it. This has now made the computer find the word mom first and then the frame and when we go and preview as if by magic your word mom is now nicely in your frame and everything is going to cut just the way you see it. So that is a very quick lesson um, but I think that should answer a lot of the questions I've been getting about what is burping. Someone coined the term burping quite a long time ago and that's what we mean when we say burp the frame. You're basically just needing to work from the inside of the design to the outside so that the computer can read the cuts in the proper order. I hope that helped and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.